Tyler Sergier with Lawrence Walker, who I'm afraid he may too have fallen subject to the brown striped mosquito carrier of the HDD, <laughs> ADD virus. So, have you in fact contracted the ADD virus? ADHD virus, sorry. Lawrence Walker, tell us about it. Okay, so <laughs> last week I went to a counselor for the potentiality of me having ADD and depression and anxiety and stuff like that. Okay, so then what, he really he really didn't give me that information when I was there. It was mostly me talking <laughs> and um, picking up. He wasn't really giving me too much valuable information, but he did send me with uh, with an Amen uh, Amen clinical uh, ADD questionnaire. So this refer this is referring to uh, Doctor Amen, which is like a specialist in ADD. And then so I I took uh, I took the questionnaire, did that, then I looked him up, and then he actually there's this website called BrainFit or uh, yeah I think it's called BrainFit Life. They have these brain typings, and they have one of sixteen. Does that sound familiar? Or like the sixteen uh, types? Here we go. Yeah, so then there's this other website. Hold on, what is it? Okay, so this is a website called braintypes.com. And it's kind of differing from... It's trying to separate itself from personality type and say that it's a, a brain type. All right, so go ahead, explain which brain type are you. Well, actually, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm just kind of, because, uh, hold on, I need to explain some more. Okay, so I did the original questionnaire. I'd fill that out, and then I did, uh, I did the Amen Clinic's online questionnaire just to, because they say that there's seven types of ADD. Really? Yeah, it, it's classic ADD, inattentive ADD, hyper-focused ADD, limbic ADD, uh, anxious ADD, and it's another one called Ring of Fire ADD. Hmm. They got ambitious in the last ten years. Yeah, this is pretty much just all of uh, Amen on the, uh, the types of ADD and the subsets of it. And this is who my uh, counselor was telling me about. Uh, and then so I go through it, and then it had given me the type of ADD that it said I had, which I don't agree, which I think might have been uh, a problem on my part, uh, answering whether or not I had problems, or is it shifting gears or being able to shift from topic to topic and being inflexible in that manner. So, but anyways, and then I seen uh, the Brain Fit Life, which was in endorsed by uh, like Dr. Heyman, and he, uh, he has videos up explaining the brain type that you are after you've taken like the questionnaire. And then, so I noticed that it was 16, and I just kind of like made the connection, and then I was able, I looked it up. So it seems like it relates back into personality type. So what did it say about your brain type? Exactly. Like what, what information did it give you? It was useful. And what's the, okay. what's the uh, verdict? Are you in desperate need of his help? <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> okay, so it said I was brain type 8. Uh, hold on. Hey, scored the highest. Hold on. I need to open the link up. Oh, no, it's not. Brain type 8 is uh, ISCJ. Is it? It says on here. Yeah, it says yeah, on here. Yeah, so I, I, I feel like that was wrong because it said deeply feeling, and it also said that it... Uh, it doesn't have the high activity in the prefrontal cortex, which wouldn't be a TI dot. So I feel like that brain typing was wrong, but then I seen how it correlated because of the 16 types and all that stuff, and then I found the, that website, braintypes.com. So I don't understand. Kind what, of seems, what so kind of seems like it's like looping back. Uh, and so it's like your brain like your brain configuration is like linked to your type, and then it's like going into brain types. 
So like you're kind of like your your theory of ADD being bullshit and it maybe being type dependent it seems like it kind of gains some uh, ability. Well, I mean, I I I don't think it, the fact that it's bullshit and the fact that it might be a description of type are are really related to each other. But I I feel you that I mean sort of they are like. If 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 it were type related, that would be one way that calling it a disorder would make it bullshit. But that's not that's not the reason in and of itself why it's bullshit. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. The reason why it's bullshit is because it it's not defining anything clearly enough as to what it is that are symptoms. And it's not, um, it's not showing a way in which those symptoms are actually attained or manifest, like, that, that links to a common cause between a group of people that would make it meaningful to call it a disorder. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's I just... The makers of Adderall disagree with you. <laughs> well, I know. I, I'm not disputing the fact that some people do better in life with Adderall. I'm I'm saying that that doesn't require anybody to have a disorder. But of course, I also the uh, social stigma imposed on drugs. This is great. <laughs> Fuck. Who uh, did the translation on brain type eight to ISTJ? <laughs> That's, I think I just finished my first project. That's pretty good, right? Super fucking efficient thing. Are you, are you using the uh, cutter or what? Grinder. A grinder? Okay. Who found out well, brain type I, 8 with ISTJ? I don't know. I did. It says on the website. Oh, uh, which website? Can you link me? The uh, uh, brain type stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can put. The- <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I don't understand it's what added. It's on the website. You can link. What additional information is it giving? Is just that, that there's a link to it between that and ADHD, or what? Wait, what do you say? It so went to go somewhere with those metrics. Yeah. What additional information is it giving us besides the fact that? There's some potential link to types of ADHD or what? I don't understand what the point of it is. Like lazy doctor. You've got six of the fourteen different types of ADHD. Six of them. <laughs> that means you need six different kinds of Adderall. That is. You need Adderall XR, Adderall Light, Adderall Evening, Adderall Morning, Adderall Noon, and Super 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 Adderall. Morning, noon, and night. <laughs> Put it up in your coffee filter. Throw us a red one. The thing is, is that I didn't get my brain typing from the brain types.com. I got it from the other one by Dr. Aim. It's a brain fit life. Who's Dr. Aim? Is he your doctor or just a dude who's. No, 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 no. No, Dr. Amen is some like specialist in ADD. I'm about to actually watch his TED talk on. on do you it. think? What, what do you think? Of Got too much information out of it. Besides that, He's what, is your, what is your opinion of Dr. Aim? I'm not getting any audio. I can't hear anybody right now. What's your opinion of Dr. Aim? The notorious Dr. Aim. Well, so far I don't have any information on that because uh, I've only heard of it from the Aim and Clinics questionnaire, which was referred to me by the counselor that I had seen, and then I'm looking it up online and realizing but that... But, Lorenz, who would know better about Dr. Aim than Dr. Aim himself? 
Well, it wasn't Doctor. It wasn't Doctor Amen that I seen. It was just some counselor named. Stan I know. Best. I'm talking about on the internet. What you found there oh, right. is stuff from his clinic. Obviously, that's the most reputable well, no. source about him. <laughs> no, that's not why I found it. Stop encouraging an ODD. Okay, well, um, anyway, so good for Dr. Amen. He's come up with lots of things to say to justify his... I, I, would, I would say he didn't come up with shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I kept trying to find a point as well, but I don't know. I, the point is, he's found words to put on his webpage. Wait, what do you... I don't... I don't get why you're discrediting him. I didn't really say anything too much about him. I, I I didn't say anything either. But that's just our nature. We discredit automatically because you didn't you didn't defend him strongly enough. <laughs> well, thing, I wasn't I wasn't trying to defend him necessarily. I was just pointing that there's this uh, relation between. Or watch, go to brandtypes.com and just look at it. They're trying to make this. I know. Good. I mean, ENTPs are the poster child. Of whatever we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> that shit, but I think yeah. I think I mean, could not find a lot of buyers in the ADHD thing, and that's coming from me who has severe ADHD, which of course it's got that <laughs> beautiful, you know, well, of course you've got ADHD. What? You're like, <laughs> you're like waiting and shit. The thing about I did you die? Deficit hyperactivity disorder is that it would tend to imply that a certain standard of of <laughs> boredom or frustration with the status quo is going to connote a disorder. But if the status quo were different, my level of boredom and frustration would be different. So. As is evidenced by the fact that I'm not bored and frustrated right now. The status quo implies that we, I mean, you assume that if it's the status quo, it's the status quo for a reason. Because we've evolved or been created or however, we're kind of smart things, we're kind of influential on our surroundings. And we have the status quo in place because it's a system that we think is generally the best. And so then when the status quo ends up being completely retarded, Well, it's irritating. That's true. That's true. The status quo, when when retarded, is irritating. That's I want. Subject I never felt like as a student it should be my responsibility to point out the school shortcomings, and apparently neither did any of the faculty. But <laughs> it's it's his mid sentence dremel, you see. It, it's important to get a, a quick dremel or two in mid sentence, because otherwise you're not really making efficient use of your sentence. You could you could try to squeeze in a little dremel in mid sentence, and that way you get your sentence out and you get to dremel something. It's very efficient. I admire that. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, what are we talking about in this video? <laughs> I don't attention know. disorders. Oh, yeah, attention disorders. So, uh, what I'm trying to explain to you <laughs> is there's no credence whatsoever <laughs> to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. <laughs> I can totally stay on topic for extended periods of time, no problem. Is my standard operating procedure. I just am choosing time and again to comedically err from that course. That's all. So, so you think personality type co uh, correlates with oh, brain configuration and activity? I mean, what do you mean by activity, and what do you mean by configuration? Uh, the the levels of activity in different regions of the brain. You mean, do I got a, a super sparky upper left hand corner? Something like well, that? Like, well, like in. Dude, Dario my, my upper left hand corner is going off right now. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. That's some serious brain action. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> can, you, can you tell? What corner of your brain is going off right now? 
<laughs> Dead center. It's exploding all over everything. Uh, well, <laughs> talking about with, like scans, but. So I don't know. Is that correlates? I mean, because look. Well, Dario's Nardi's research kind of showed that, and that's what this brain type is kind of getting at. <laughs> I did. Oh, is it, was this the soundtrack I ordered for the background of this video? <laughs> ah. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. You should sing a band. <laughs> anyway, um. Oh, yeah, ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this topic. Let's change it. <laughs> Let's talk about Dremel some more. Talk about Dremel some more? Well, I mean, look, it goes up to, what is it, 35,000 RPMs? I don't know. We're looking for that. I don't know. It should be 35,000, I think. 35,000 minimum. Oh, no, per minute. Never mind. That's pretty fast, though. How many times can you go around a circle per minute? I have a lot of ADHD. <laughs> can you go 35,000 times? Probably not. You know what we're going around. Well, you have to turn around in a circle. I mean, it's standing in your room. Turn around in a circle for one minute if you think you can get close to 35,000K. How close can you get? If you can get within 10,000 of that, I'd be really impressed. I can't get my pictures hung. If you, if you can turn around in a circle 25,000 times in a minute? Dremel, you showed me how the Dremel works. Dremel. 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 Okay. So, Lorenz, anything else you want to talk about regarding this whole topic about ADHD? Do you think that you have it? Do you want to have it so you can get uh, Adderall or what? Well, that's not, really, that's not really the point of all this. Like, I don't think it matters if I can diagnose That's the only... What other point is there? Well, I mean, yeah. The, well, the point is to get some sort of uh, relieving and being able to focus better. But that's besides the point. Like, I, <laughs> we're not judging you. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I don't care. If you, I, yeah, I don't care if you were, but I don't. Like, I mean, personally, that's not how I see it. <laughs> because whether I even like, if I have ADD or whether or not, like, it doesn't. It doesn't matter, what, like, really, if somebody says I have it. I've, it's something that's just there anyways, right? <laughs> no. That's my point. That's my fucking point, dude. That's Eric's fucking point. No, it's not just trying it's there anyway. It's as, it, it is a reality where you're like, like... So you're saying I, it's only in a reality as much as you make it? Well, I don't know. Would a non ADHD person be able to more successfully sit here and listen to this continual background song on this video of whatever it is without yelling at Fernando? I don't know. Did you hear last night when there was that fucking smoke alarm beeping? Yeah, well, see, Taylor did it last night to some. He said to somebody last night on the video, "Your smoke alarm is beeping. Turn it off." And I hadn't, I hadn't gotten around oh. to ever saying that for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. I think maybe I wasn't one hundred percent sure that's what it was. It took me a while to realize it was. A, it was. Oh, that's what that is. It's a. Smoke it's one bomb. of those noises that can annoy you subconsciously for a long time. Right. Well, that I mean, me too, actually. how is it that you if I was sitting with there with that going and happening in the room and just being like not. That's even more crazy that you'd be able to not notice that than in not from room another room. That and never hear it. They must be ignoring it on purpose. Yeah, because one yeah, time. Ignoring uh, on purpose after a while. Take the smoke detector off the ceiling and throw it in the fucking trunk. Why well, not? I do it now. I mean, that's. Mm -hmm. I just that's the recipe to that problem for everybody. Forever. It never needs to be a problem for anyone ever again. A smoke detector would best be called a a battery, a ladder, 
freaking activity back. It must be called Fuck Your Sleep. <laughs> Smoke alarms should be called Battery Ladder Activity Packs. Because all you do with them is climb up on a ladder, hang them up, and then change the battery periodically. Now, occasionally, they'll give you a false alarm about something. They're never right. They're never right. They're always lying. I don't know that I know of not one single person who smoke detectors ever worked as intended for. Or... You don't know anyone who's been, like, saved by a fucking pump station? Well, you're going to get a lot of false positives for every real positive, that's for sure, right? Yeah, but I've never heard a real... I've never heard a false positive. I mean, I get them all the time. I used to when I had a smoke detector because I had burned something in the kitchen. Because I'd start something, and then I'd go outside for a second, and then I'd come back in an hour later. What the... Oh, shit, I forgot about the... You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you set off smoke alarms. Uh, any other comments about any of these topics? I'm about ready to wrap it up here. Just out of curiosity, do you use your phone alarm a lot for things? Me, my phone alarm? I try. But I also then don't necessarily want to have my phone on me all the time depending on what I'm doing, you know? Like, if I'm just, if I'm walking around the house, like I'm doing a little chory stuff, I've got all my shit, including my phone, in a box over here. Don't you hate it when your phone interrupts what you're doing on your phone with, like, phone calls and shit? <laughs> I know. I've often said, I need a device that can, that can just film pictures of things and make movies and not receive phone calls. And, of course, we they exist. It's called a camera. What's that? We just want Instagram and YouTube. There's already one of those things. Yeah, well, I want the, uh, I want the camera making thing with a little bit of extra functionality, but I mean, I kind of want to go back to landlines. I think we should. Let's all agree. Yeah. It's all. Well, let's all agree. With sometime within the next 100 years, we will go back to using a landline. Let's all agree right now. I'd fucking believe it. I'd like to. It's a little more stable. A little less like you have to be on call all the time. You know. Fucking Hombre's dead. Hombre? Who's Hombre? That fucking gorilla. Oh, Harambe. <laughs> Harambe. Oh, All, right. All right, you guys. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to try to get to bed early tonight. Actually, get a good night's sleep. See you later. Have fun dremeling. You're going to enjoy that. See you Bye. later. <laughs> Well, thank you for letting us uh, stop by real quick.